Hi everybody. Welcome all of you to our channel IAPT Learners Hub. Okay. Last class we have learned types of constructors, encapsulation and class and objects also we have learned. Okay. This class we are going to study abstraction in object oriented programming in C++. Okay. Do you know what is an abstraction? What define the abstraction? We can see the example in the real life also. Okay. Abstraction means displaying the necessary information and hiding the details. Okay. I will tell you one example. The car is the great example for that. You start a car by turning a key or press the start button. You don't need to know how the how is getting started. You just know car starts. Press the button, car starts. You don't know the internal execution. What are the components your car has? You don't know. Okay. Only the front end works you know, the back end works you don't know. That is displaying the necessary information and hiding the details. Okay. The car we can see only press the start button or turning the key car is getting started. The back end work is hidden. Okay. This is called as abstraction. We have to study how we can implement abstraction in the program. Ways to implement data abstraction in C++. There are two ways is there. Abstraction using classes and abstraction using header files. Okay. Everybody knows classes. What is a class? The class to combine the members of that data and function by using available access specifiers. This is the class. We have already studied what is a class and object. We have done the programs also. Okay. To combine the members of data and data and functions by using available access specifiers. Okay. We can implement the abstraction using classes. Okay. Class is the main deciding factor of which data member will be visible to the world or which is not. Okay. Displaying the necessary information and ignoring the details. That is abstraction. Okay. Displaying the necessary information and ignore the ignoring the details. That is abstraction. That abstraction we can implement through the classes. Okay. Class is the main factor of which data member will be visible to the world or which is not. While doing the program, you will come to know how we can implement abstraction in the classes. Okay. Second part is abstraction using header files. Through the header files also, we can implement the data abstraction. Okay. Many header files are there in C++. A string header file, a input output string header file, a studio your standard library function header file, and a mathematical header file functions. Okay. If you want to do any mathematical function in the programming, C++ programming, we have to include the header file mathematical function, math.h header file. Because the all the execution steps are present in the math header files. The code for execution, the power of the method. I will tell you one example, power of the method. What are the statements? What are the codes we require to execute the power method? That all present in the math dot header file. It's header file. So we have to include that header file in the program. That is second type of abstraction. Okay, all the co execution codes are hidden in the math dot h header file. Okay, we don't know how the execution is done. What are the statements we required in the uh, function uh, to execute the uh, mathematical function power method? Okay, only we know. We give the statement power math, power of the number, we got the result. But what are the statements we have executed for that function? That we, we don't need to come to know. Okay. That all included in the header file math.h. Okay. That is the second type of header file. Is it clear now? Or the, the, the ways to implement data abstraction C++. Abstraction using classes and abstraction using header files. Okay. Okay, let us do one program to demonstrate the working of data abstraction. Okay, how we can implement data abstraction in the, through classes. Take the class implement abstraction. Class name is implement abstraction. Here we have taken the two variables A and B. Okay, the access procedure is private. Okay, and then public. What is the part of two functions we have to add here? Set functions and display functions. Set function means we have to initialize the value for a and b. Hmm? Then display the value of a and b. Take the function set. Give the argument list int x int y. Okay. 
assign the value of value of x to a, assign the value of the y to b, a is equal to x, b is equal to y. Okay, in the main program with the object, we will pass the values for x and y. Then uh, display the set values, c out a, c out b. Okay, this is very familiar to you. Okay, then come to the main program, class is over, come to the main program. Coming to the main program, first we have to create the object. Give the class name, implement the abstraction, space, obj. Okay. That is, this is the object name. Through object, we can call the functions. Which are the functions, set and display functions. We can, through object, we can call. So with straight class, we cannot access any members of, any data members or any functions in the class, inside the class. Okay. Give the, take the object of class name, obj dot set 20, 30. I'm passing values 20 goes to a, uh, 20 is the value of the x passed to a 30 is the value of the y uh, the value 30 passed to y assigned to b value 20 passed to x assigned to a okay then display the function the value of the a should print value of the b should print okay then setting the values and display that but finally after the execution of the program what result will get it you will get it Output is this, a is equal to 20, b is equal to 30, okay? Understand how to uh, implement the abstraction. Here we know the value of the a is equal to, after executing the program, we got the value of the a, 20, value of the b, 30, okay? These are the statements you have to do to get the value for a and b. This is the abstraction, okay? Let's do one more program using abstraction, okay? Class y grid, okay? Here, Two functions are here, private, position, piston, piston, void piston, for piston, okay. Then, man who made, marks, but these two functions are private. Then, company name, okay, model, color, cost, oil, okay. These are the functions, public, okay. They are given the uh, message also. This is a void model symbol, color green silver, red green silver, rupees this much amount, oil petrol, company GFG. Okay, these are the public. Other two was first two one piston and man who made is private. Okay, then come to the these are the classes. Class we have declared the uh, define the members function functions we declared here defined. Then come to the main program. We are calling. O, v, y equal obj okay we called the uh, obj with the company name model color cost oil okay see sfg gfg symbol green and petrol first we have we are going to functions that is private that we cannot call outside the class because the functions are private that is hidden only the class we can call that okay outside the class we cannot call all which are the functions we have done for um, by using the access specifier prior public we can call outside the class okay this is the abstraction is it clear now how we next advantage of data abstraction see helps the user to avoid writing the low level code okay then avoids code duplication and increase increases usability reusability okay we can avoid the code duplication and increase the reusability okay that is the second advantage then we can change the internal implementation of the implementation of the class independently without affecting the user okay if any corruption is there and we can make changes in the classes that without affecting the user then security the of application or program or as all important details are provided by the user security is there then it reduces the complication as well as the job loss of the code. Okay. Therefore, increasing the readability. New Hope you learned what is an abstraction, how to how we can implement it in the program. Okay. If you like this video, subscribe the channel, like and share, and press the bell button also to get more notification. Next class, I will come with next video. Till then, bye.